a rebrand is not a complete 180 right because it, then it's not rebranding that is that is that is completely shifting gears when does one rebrand so i've done your branding work jody you know i've gone through your actor's branding system i've gone through all the work in the think tank i've done the branding but when do i get to do that again when do i revisit that so this question comes up a lot hi there jody bentley here actor producer and career coach. And today I want to talk about this concept of rebranding. So I get asked a lot, you know, okay, I've done my brand. You know, I, I've been, been this brand for about three or four years now. Gosh, should I rebrand? Is it time to like re-examine it? What do I do? So I get this a lot from, from clients of mine from years ago. Uh, you know, I've been coaching actors on this for well over a decade now. Um, so I get this 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 idea of rebranding coming across um, a lot. So I want to talk about it. I want to address it because there is something to be said for it. But first of all, I want to say what a rebrand is not. A rebrand is not a complete 180, right? Because it, then it's not rebranding. That is that is that is completely shifting gears, right? That is that is completely saying I'm going to be something else and do this other thing. So a rebrand is really a tweak, a zhuzh, a refresh on your package and what you are presenting to the world. But I get asked, when does one rebrand? So I've done your branding work, Jody. You know, I've gone through your actor's branding system. I've gone through all the work in the think tank. I've done the branding. Um, but when do I get to do that again? When do I revisit that? So this question comes up a lot. So for me, I've probably rebranded myself. <sighs> maybe I want to say three times in my career. And again, just a tweak, just a zhuzh, a slight repackage, if you will. Because look, I always talk about branding being your essence, right? That's a part of it. It's a part of it. So my essence has not changed from who I was 10 years ago, right? I'm still me, still me with the same energy, the same thoughts, the same point of view. Yes, I've grown, I've changed, I've shifted, but essentially it's still me. So when would a rebrand occur? Well, um, for me, I would think my first rebrand um, occurred um, after my cancer diagnosis. Because at that point, um, I had a different story to tell, right? I That obviously changed me as a human. And I felt like my brand shifted slightly, um, even in regards to the stories that I wanted to tell, but also who I was just deepened in a different way. And I wanted that reflected in how I showed up in the industry, how I presented myself in the industry and the roles that I wanted to play in the industry. So... There's something to be said that perhaps if there is a trauma, a life change, a life shift of some sort, that that might be a time to just examine the brand again and say, okay, are these still the st stories I want to tell? I know I'm perceived in this way. Is that how I still want to be perceived? Can I change my packaging in some way to be perceived in this other way? that I'm feeling a little bit more at the moment that I know is also a part of me. So again, some of that happens with, 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 with trauma and life change. Um, at the top of this year, at the top of um, uh, this year, um, I started to go through a, a rebrand and a slight shift as well. Um, because at the end of the year, I realized, yes, I play a lot of polished, put together, strong, powerful women. And I love that. Um, I play a lot of wealthy elitist women, right? I grew up middle class, lower middle class. I don't know how to tell those stories. I've learned how to tell those stories of wealth and abundance. Um, but I also know the other side of the coin very well. And I don't always get to tell those stories, but I want to. Um, so I decided to do a slight rebrand, a slight tweak to deepen the stories of perseverance, of survivor, of um, not necessarily victim, but not a silver spoon, which is a lot of people I play. That was never part of my existence growing up. I've, I've, I've struggled, I've survived, I've worked hard for everything, and I want to tell that story of uh, perseverance. So I had those conversations with my agent and manager, and in my new headshots, 
we started thinking about that with the looks of my headshots just to tweak it a little bit to show that other piece of me that wasn't there in my past marketing materials and my past headshots. So that was a slight rebrand. Again, it's not a huge thing. It was just me saying, you know what? There are stories that I want to tell and there are ways I want to be perceived and my current materials aren't supporting that right now. So I had to get clear on, okay, well, what is it that I want? What are the roles that I really want to play? What are those stories that I really want to tell? And what does that look like? So how can I then package myself to allow people to see that? right? So again, that's just a slight tweak of my brand. I still play powerful women. I still play women who persevere. I still, you know, play opinionated women, strong women, all of that, whatever, but it's in a different package. And what's funny is as soon as I got really clear on that, and it took me a couple months to go, something, something's not right. Something's missing. There's something else I want to be doing. And then I got clear on it. Then we got the headshots that represented it. And one of my first auditions out of the gate was for... <laughs> a lower middle class role of a woman who's persevered, who's trying her best to survive. Um, and she does, but it's not easy. And that was based on headshots and the new branding, the tweak that I had done. So so when you're like, mm, I did the branding work a while ago, what do I do now? When do I revisit this? Well, if you're feeling mm, itchy about it, right? If you're like, mm, something's missing, something's... Mm, well, then sit down and examine and ask yourself the deeper questions of, well, what is it that I want to be doing? What are those roles? What is missing? What, where do I want to go that I'm not going now? So once you get clarity on that, then you can start to do a slight tweak and zhuzh and repackaging of the brand to deepen a different part of yourself. And also, when there are life shifts, traumas, ch huge changes once you get on the other side of that, I invite you to take a step back and say and ask, where do I want to be in my career now? Now that I know this story, for me, now that I know the story of cancer survivor, how do I incorporate that into the roles that I want and desire and could play? If at all, do I do that? Right? I'm not saying that you have to do this after every time, but I find Again, in all my years of being a coach, that a lot of times when the rebrand happens, it's when people are coming out of a big life shift. So if you find yourself in that space, take a step back and start to, re to examine what is it you want now. And then you can start to tweak what you've already built from there. But all of this will make sense once you've done the initial branding work to begin with. So you get to do that. You get to brand before you rebrand. So I'll put a couple links in this post as well to some of my courses that do talk about branding and how to do that for yourself. But I trust that this makes sense of how, how to rebrand or when to rebrand. Because you will. We're constantly shifting and changing. Again, the core stays the same, but we're shifting and changing. And how, how do we package that to allow other people to see it? How do we rebrand? All right, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.